Boys weekend. <laughs> On to Europe we go. Incredibly British weather. At this point of the trip, this is when we learn how many clothes we didn't bring. Welcome to the Fun Gliss Pro-Am. A little bit of a different tournament, very little publicity, no cameras. No nothing, just two people who want to put on a fantastic event and have the best at the world ski at their site. We ended up stopping and luckily finding some amazing burgers, probably some of the best of the year, before we headed off to the lake to go take a little bit of a practice. All right, we've just arrived. I love this place, so beautiful. I'm gonna go practice, probably a bad idea, no one else is. But I just feel like I need a little bit of confidence after that last round, some things that I wanted to work on. A little bit squishy with my legs and that back shoulder that I kind of mentioned earlier. So that's going to be the goal, that's going to be the play. I'm not too bothered about score, don't even know if I want to go 41. I'll tell you that now, I'm going to probably want to do one. So obviously this is essentially going to mean no rest day in between two tournaments. So it's going to be a busy one, but let's see how she feels and, and go from there. All right, that is the practice set done. Don't know if I got any video of it, Will was in the boat. A little, a little better, still felt a little funky. Um, honestly, like a little movier than I expected, um, but it should be doable on the weekend. Um, wind is much stronger than expected. Obviously, Morocco, big open lake, you get this amount of wind, it's kind of calm, whereas there's not so much ripple on the lake and a lot of effect on your body. So it's coming through the trees, uh, making those gates a little bit tricky, but glad I practice, get a feel for tomorrow, and just gotta forget it and go do it, really. Let's go to the hotel. I'm gonna get some steak if this is a bad hotel. Looks a little 50 50. Let's go check in. One room for two of us. Yes. It's only a little bit sketchy. Oh, cozy. Wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they do split. I thought are? there were two doubles. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look how small. <laughs> I have a bad history with booking hotel rooms and this is not gonna help that. That is small. Oh, it's gonna be cozy. After a considerable amount of moaning from the chaps, we ended up heading out for dinner and just trying to relax before the big day tomorrow. The reason why I'm maybe going to be a little more nervous than usual is after four times and it feeling great every time here, I've never run 39. It's always been a place that's just got in my head and I've always just struggled. But dinner was amazing, sunsets absolutely fantastic. All we need now is a good night's sleep and we'll be ready to roll and run that 39 tomorrow. All right, we are out here at the lake. This is going to be about an hour till me. Conditions look beautiful. Um, it's meant to be windy, but things seem to have calmed down a ton. I just really want to get this first round over and done with, see how things feel, then we can go from there. I was feeling good beforehand, so fingers crossed we do well, but I'm a little nervous. Oof. I might have to put some rope in my handle. That is a little bit close. Look at that, beautiful. Right, okay, I'm up in four, John's gonna be up in three. I'm hoping to get the boat footage so we can see kind of what's going on. But yeah, I'm a little nervous. No one's on 39 yet. Tim Tonquist, he went down early. He's the one that I would kind of was assuming would get through it. Charlie Ross out there now. That's when we'll get a real sense for what's going on. And yeah, let's go have some fun. The target is you. After, I don't even know how many times I've been to this event. Is it three, four now? Finally run a 39. I don't know what it is. It feels so beautiful. And that's the most frustrating thing is I've never been able to get through a 39 here for no reason other than my own head, I guess. But to get through that 39 was a huge relief. Took a big cheer at the end. Happy with the pass, happy with everything. Half at 41, really annoying. 
but honestly it feels so fast side to side especially compared to morocco so just trusting that feeling and staying two hands long is going to be really really important just came off the handle into one at 41 and dipped over tried to hold it couldn't half at 41 that's not a very useful score at all but it's better than before so we improve and go for the next round and see what happens i think i was yeah. No. I'm gonna have to pull out a bomb here too. <laughs> you did. <laughs> and at four. And at five. He's saying anything on one three oh five. No. I was like, you know who that was like? Brando. <laughs> you now know how Brando feels all the time. <laughs> but you need to do it three times, he only gets two. <laughs> so we can happily say that we suck, at least. Yep. Half at forty one together. John absolutely killed it for 41. Looked awesome as well, actually. And then Will just went and got one at 41. So, a little bit odd. John but took us all to school today. Yeah, John showed us how it's done. So, carry on. We're going to go find some bread and ham and cheese, eat some food, and then roll back on. Me and Cole are also in tight eight right now, eighth and ninth. So, that's fun. But let's go get some food. <laughs> this cheese is the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. Good stuff. I so good. Cheers. Cheers. All right, this rain is on and off, on and off. Fully English weather. Conditions are other than that are beautiful. Flat, calm wind. Sky, a little dark, but yeah, no no excuses on the wind front. Just fingers crossed we get lucky with the rain. They're going to try push through because they don't have a ton of time. Tim Tonkvist just got a two at 41, which is obviously puts us a bit further down. So I'm going to need a two or a three right now to have a good chance. But hey, that's a realistic goal and we just got to try to go for it. Get through that 39 again and then go from there. But let's see how she rolls so was pretty stoked to get through that 39 again but here we go 41 struggling with a slow gate managed to get out of it fine knew the three was needed saved did the two and was super happy with how i got on however things got a little spicy after i came in all right we have a classic fun situation cole is on the bubble right now with a two and a half at 41 backup score with a half threes are in so will just got the three that puts him in john is in so sasha now needs to go and get three to put himself in anything less than a three or a two and a half is he gonna put cole in. so there's sasha t gas and charlie to go let's see who takes that spot in the final but two and a half is needed not easy by all means and as will said that son is nasty back there. How did I feel? Uh... Uh, a little bit stressed because the <laughs> stress. <Yeah. laughs> no, but uh, I couldn't fall at one. Man, I have to be. I had to. I had to be a little bit on the defensive. And then at two, I said, "Well, okay. Uh, usually, I cannot was, fall at two. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and at three, but whatever. I tried. Didn't work. But Leon Naro. Leon No, I was. Uh, I was late, man. I was late. I, I was narrow because I was late. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was gonna no, say, no, no, we, I, I, we have I, video I, proof you were narrow. Uh, yeah. Photo inserted here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's okay. Tomorrow is gonna be windy, so different game. You go and do what you can do. Yeah. yeah I like it. That is two for two. Full crew that's traveling, full syndicate that is in the final. So that's always good. It's never fun to travel with someone and they miss out. And it's like, it makes the trip a little bit more fun. <laughs> that's gonna be good. Finals and steak. <clears throat> So we like to hear. Looks so cozy. I am very cozy. The only problem is it's about 20 degrees too cold. <laughs> These conditions are a little bit tough this morning. The tail breeze down the far end of the lake is, is, is quite firm. So that end of the 39, it's like start of the 41 head is, is strong. It's coming quite westerly, so it's a little bit protected from the trees. So the start here on this 41, it's really not that bad of a wind through the start of the 41. It's super protected down this end and it's really not too shocking. So kind of trying to make decisions now. Do you risk the 39 tail in what's a pretty strong wind down that far end? Um, or do you maybe go for the safer option? But realistically, is it that much more dangerous? You get a gust, it's tough, no matter what, 41 or 39. So. Right now I'm leaning towards heading out there at 32, seeing what the situation's like, then at least you give yourself the space to opt up if you need to. But if anything, chancing that 41 tail and seeing if you can get a good start, because that headwind at that far end, if you get a gust, is strong and it's going to be hard to carry speed. So, find out. 
see what we need to do and commit to the choice that we make, but this is going to be juicy. My mind run deep in my thoughts when I didn't have it Sleeping on the floor, wishing it was a mattress Now I'm in Hollywood with actors and actresses Where everybody bougie, latest trends and fashions I'd rather keep it a buck, a hundred if you ask me I was trying to pay the bills just like last week I was trying to sell a deal just like last week Trying to run plays and run it up like the math leaks It's in my DNA to have hope and make a way Good energy will hit that MJ fade away Miss me with the hate and now nah, bruh, not today Stayed in my lane Oh, well that was an experience. I think I got a pretty firm gust on my 39, that two ball at 39, the chop. For me, I've not seen much like that before and I've skied in some wind in England. Just the way that that lake opens up down there with that crosswind, it can come in, but whew, I'm happy. I needed confidence after Morocco in the finals. I needed that 41 start. I got not the best one at 41. I was wider to two than I thought, so I pulled, 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 pulled flicked my feet out and was like, oh, actually, I think I almost went around it, ski caught and I nearly died, so. Um, one and a half at 41, honestly not that mad with it. Obviously it's not going to win, but I needed some confidence today. We have a lot of tournaments coming up and it actually felt okay by the time I got rolling. Honestly, if you get a strong gust, it's tough. If it drops down for you, it's actually not too bad. So there's going to be a big scores win today, but I got the confidence. So all I needed was out there now. Let's see what he can do. JT3 of 41, he was in that. He's gonna watch that video back a few times and be a little miff. I mean, that puts right now in a four-way tie for first with three at 41, and John had wind. That gust came up. This is exciting. Brando, last one off the dock. He has been Mr. Four. He's very good at getting four, but this wind is brutal. So let's see how we do. These boys are gonna be watching closely. This one is going to be sick. Three syndicates. Wind it seems to be turning a little bit. It's less that it gets up and down, it seems to turn. If it turns a little bit to the tree side, it gets a lot more protection, a lot more pleasant. So, fingers crossed it stays that way and the boys can put down some big scores. Sasha looks incredible. John looked even better. So I think there's going to be a big score going down here, but let's see what the draw comes out at and wish the boys luck. Will is ever so stressed about the situation, obviously. Cool. The first. Yep. Sasha. Sasha, Will, and John. Yes. What's the uh, Louis warm-up? Warmed up, ready to roll. Huh? <laughs> Warmed up, ready to roll. You're in France. I think that's pretty good. This is history. Now it's not a mystery. Stop without a hating dog. Man, this is meant for me. Whatever come my way, this is meant for me. Trying to show my... How are we feeling, Cole? <laughs> no. Good enough for fourth place. Uh -huh. Good skin, man. Thanks. I'ma let by guns be by guns. I'ma keep rapping till I turn into an icon. Back against the ropes, kept swinging like Tyson. Back in the <laughs> five to six was nice, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> the good thing is uh, we have a tournament in two days, so it's good practice. Yeah. That's a good skin, man. That's not easy. That wind came up. Yeah. yeah. But it, was not, it was not like the first round. The like first round it was straight. Yeah, it's cool. Here it was uh, yeah, of course. at one. Man, hey, got the three. Third yeah. place guaranteed. Find out where you end up. That's true. But I think I'm going to ski again. Mm. Be ready. Good ski, man. Thank you. At the end of the day, I'm here to be the voice for the Breezy? That was nice. That, was... <laughs> that one ball. Hey, got it done. It's hard, that game. like to keep up the speed. 41, I'm saying. I'm the opposite. I'm kind of slow down. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I probably pulled out like 10 feet early on my game. Oh no. So easy to miss from the boat, but he ended up falling, the rope wrapping over his ski, round his boot, round his other foot, and essentially giving him a massive rope burn. He told me he looked down at his shin and he was in the water and just saw a white red mess, thought that it was broken. Once the shock had worn off and the swelling had gone down, we could kind of see that it was more of a rope burn, but 
ended up going to hospital to get things checked out. Super scary in a situation that could have been much worse and in the end coming out quite lucky. We ended up picking up from the hospital about two hours later and luckily all the scans came back clear. So super lucky result of a very scary situation. The man is unbreakable. The man is unbreakable. <laughs> There he is. Well, that is the worst possible way to end a tournament. Obviously, huge congrats to Will. Taking the win with a four, meaning tough conditions. He deserves that one. There's two wins back to back. Insane skiing. John, I think he's going to be okay. It's not really about the skiing right now, but we obviously have another tournament in two days. So, fingers crossed he can be back and recovered. But it looks right now like it's just going to be a nasty bruise. There's a little bit of of a cut there but i think when he looked down he just saw straight bone i think he was like oh my god my legs in half so yeah the sport's dangerous guys but yeah that's gonna be hopefully he's back um and it's not as bad as we think fingers crossed there's no break and we'll find out soon but that's gonna be the end of this one probably we're now as long as john is okay gonna try five hours down to monaco we then have a day's rest i'll probably practice because you know over skiing is key um but we'll see you guys in the next one. It's going to pretty much continue straight from this. So um, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And yeah, it's as much chaos as it looks on this video. So fingers crossed John's okay. And I'll see you guys in the next one.